are going to be doing the um, home sleep study on you tonight. We'll be using this Alice Night One. Um, it does give us picture step-by-step -step instructions, but I'm also going to walk you through each step. Um, this is the main piece that's going to sit right here on your diaphragm. Um, the next part is going to be the belt that's going to monitor the air that comes in and out of your um, diaphragm. We have the cannula that's going to be going in your nose and then also the oximeter that's going to be going on your finger. Okay. 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 Batteries are charged, ready to go. They are good for both nights, so you don't have to worry about the batteries, all right? Our next step is we're going to go ahead and um, start with the belt. It does have an adjuster on it. You're going to make it bigger, smaller, however you need it. You don't want it so tight on you, you can't breathe, but you need it snug enough, it's going to stay in place, okay? So you'll adjust it to how big you need it. All right, so we're just gonna wrap it around your diaphragm. I'm gonna have you hold over here on sure. this end, and then we're just gonna connect it to each end. Once you connect it into each end, that's also what turns on the machine. We'll know that the machine is on because we have these lights up here at the top. Just says that it's on and it's reading. It does take a couple of minutes to acquire the signals for each one. The first signal that we're gonna be looking for is a little guy. He's gonna appear up here at the top. He's gonna be yellow at first and then he'll turn green. So these belts, again, you don't want it so tight you can't breathe, but you need it snug enough. If you lift your arms up, it's gonna stay in place, okay? Great. All right, so we have the little guy here. We're gonna wait for him to turn green and then we move on to the next. Um, sensor, okay? Great. All right, so he's green. We're gonna move on to the cannula. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna monitor the air that comes in and out of your nose. In order to do that, we're gonna use this cannula. So this is going to fit right in here. Okay. And then what it is, again, it's just a sensor. So it, it looks like oxygen, but it is just sensing the air that comes in and out of your nose. And you're going to wear it just like oxygen, though. The prongs are bent, so they go backwards in your nose. So you're just going to put this in your nose, around your ears, and then just tighten this up underneath your chin. Okay. So we'll get another green light saying that the sensor is on and reading. So the last thing we'll be doing is monitoring your oxygen level that it will be correlating with your breathing. In order to that, you're gonna wear this sensor on your finger. Now it can go on any one of the three middle fingers, okay. usually on the non-dominant hand. Got it. And we also want the cord to be up on top. So you're just gonna slide this over your finger till it hits the end there. We do also have two pieces of Coban here, one for each night. What we want you to do is take that, wrap it around your wrist. Just help secure that this isn't gonna come off during the night. Great. And then again, we have another green light for the sensor saying that that's on and reading. Since we have all, green, all three green lights on, we'll start to see this other um, sensor as well saying that it's on and it's starting to record. So again, the middle sensor is for the belt saying that that's on and reading. This one is on for the sensor for your um, air that's coming in and out of your nose. This one is for the um, oxygen. Here in just a couple of minutes, now that it's all on and all the lights are on and reading, these are gonna start powering down. So you'll st we'll start to see each one of these lights power down. The lights do not stay on all night long. So we don't want anybody to panic. The machine hasn't turned off the lights have just turned off, okay? And they'll continue reading throughout the night. Um, so we just want you to leave that on throughout the night. When you do wake up in the morning, what you'll start to do is just start to take each sensor off. As we take them off, we're gonna start to see the lights come on and they're gonna start turning yellow. And then all we have to do is unplug this. The machine will turn off by itself after about 30 minutes and then it's good to go again for the next night.